because now I have this ring on my finger. I don't think that he should have proposed to me when he proposed to me. Yo, what is going on Warband? It is Taylor the Fiend back again with another response video and on today's show we're looking at a video submission through the Patreon titled Why We Really Broke Up and all the questions I've been avoiding. But before we crack into it guys, if you are new here, be sure to subscribe on your way in, come and join the Discord if you haven't already, and um, a great way to support the channel if you'd like to do so is the Patreon, so be sure to check that out. But let's see what she has to say. And it's crazy because part of me is like, did you pressure him? Like, why did he feel the need to uh, propose when he did? I went back at the text messages I sent him the day that I told him that I found a really nice ring. And I said, like, you really don't have to go. It's not a big deal. Like, I literally was just looking at it and I like, I, I really like it, but like, you don't have to go. It's not a big deal. So he went that day to get the ring and he waited a good amount of months to give it to me. And I remember being at his house multiple times and him saying like, I wish I could just give it to you now. And I'm like, what? Like, you got the ring? I didn't know that he got it. This is, this is why in this video, I was like, I have a feeling he's going to propose to me because he would say all the time. I just want to live with you. I just want to give you the ring. Like I just Guys, this is um this is not going to be one of the types of videos where like it, it's not what you think, right? So this girl here and many girls, right? They'll get into a relationship and um you know, a guy will he'll kind of flirt around the idea of committing to her, but because they want to believe that they can get the commitment, they'll stay there anyway, right? It's like um, we as guys all know that the guy is just leading her on and has no real intention to, you know, get a house with her um, and, and, you know, commit fully at his age. But um, they'll waste all of their time thinking there's commitment when there's not, right? And women have a lot less time than men do. Uh, this is said a lot on this side of the internet, guys. Um, women are on a much faster clock than we men are. Uh, you know, we can have kids well into our um, you know, into our later years, but women, women cannot, it, it physically becomes a danger for them, right? And they, they run out of eggs. So, um, if you're looking to settle down and have a family, it's imperative that the, the woman kind of do that early. And a lot, a lot of women are, uh, believing that they can get commitment or that there are promises being made when there actually aren't, right? So they fall into this trap and, uh, they get called what, uh, Mr. Mr. Replicant Fish likes to call leftover women. But let's continue. I just... I'm, I'm so in love with you and blah, blah, blah. So he gives me the ring and do you love my hair, by the way? It's so silky. So I'm like, if you got a higher paying job, we could live here. You could have everything you want. I'll buy the house here because I'll know that you can like help out with the salary you're making if you switch jobs. No, I'm not switching jobs. And they actually told him what his salary is going to be like in the future. They gave him a plan. And if I wanted to have a baby and something happened, if I was on bed rest and I couldn't work, I couldn't film videos, we would be homeless with the salary that he makes now and in the future at this one job. Okay, so you proposed to me and we're supposed to be getting married, which means we have to buy a home. We have to figure out some way to live with each other, but you don't want to get a higher paying job. And I'm saying let's go to Florida because it's more affordable so you can have any job you want and that's not good enough for you either. Hey, you know what they say guys, this, this whole uh, this whole equality stuff, you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe you can work the job and then uh, pay for the house. <laughs> you know, like this woman actually has like quite a, she's got like quite a traditional plan going on here, right? She wants to get the marriage underway. Um, she wants to get a house and have kids, which, you know, um, is, is a real rarity these days. I know I've got a lot of you guys. I can see, like, um, what other content you guys like to watch. I know you like to watch uh, Replicant Fish, fantastic channel. Um, you like to watch Better Bachelor and stuff like that. Uh, Be Better Bachelor will talk about this um, quite a lot where, look, the, these traditional values, man, they're running out of time. They're, they're really running out of time. I get a lot of guys here who, you know, uh, believe it or not, are kind of looking for relationships and things like that. Um, and, you know, a lot of what I can offer is just to say, man, it's rough out there. <laughs> it, it's, it's really difficult um, finding a quality person to have a life plan like this and be able to uh, walk away with that and actually make it happen. It's, it's a lot more difficult than you would think, and it's a lot more difficult than you were raised to believe, okay? Especially because um, the way that men have been lied to insofar as attraction, it, 
if if you follow the the guide that society gives you as a man to a, a, to you know get a marriage a white picket fence and kind of kids if you follow the plan that society gives you uh let me be the first to tell you you're probably going to get cheated on you're probably going to be used you're not going to be respected and you, you're not going to have a really good time and a lot of guys in my comment section can attest to that you know i've got guys over here who have gone through marriages who have lost lost substantial amounts of money um, some guys in my comment section have even, you know, lost custody of their kids, basically. Um, so, you know, it's it's really no joke. But let's keep going. So, what are we going to do? So someone asked, why didn't you just break off your engagement but stay dating? We did do that. And this is part of the reason, again, why I say, like, you guys think that you know, but you don't. Because this has been going on for years. Then one day, I asked him, like, have you... I, I, again, you don't really, <clears throat> you, you don't have the years to be going through the certainty and uncertainty of is marriage going to happen or not. You, you simply, you, if you want to be having a family, settling down, getting a home together, um, I mean, you, you don't you don't have the time to do that, right? And a lot of guys are realizing, hey, um, these girls have wasted their time. They're wasting their time chasing Chad, Tyrone, and then they want to turn around when they're 30 or 40 with a kid in tow and expect me to um you know pay for a place to live and stuff like that it's it's just not going to happen you decided if you want to come to florida yet like because he was saying no i don't want to go and then he would say I, I'll, I'll like let you know after like a month of him telling me that we're gonna finally be together when he's 65 and retired he was like i am coming i was always coming i thought you knew that i have a screenshot actually of it because i was so shocked for literally weeks, he was saying, I'm not going with you. And we had so many disagreements. It was like the most stressful time of my life of him telling me that he's not going because I didn't know what else to do. It was horrible. And then he just assumes like, did you really think I wasn't going to come? Like, yeah, I assumed you weren't going to come because you told me a hundred times that you weren't going to come. I was like in tears, like so excited. I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. We're going to be so happy. And then I bought the house and he's like, you know what? I changed my mind. I don't want to go. And I was like... So I'm, I'm kind of confused. Did you... So you bought the house, but did you put his name on it or no? This guy's been wishy-washy about moving to Florida with you. And yet you still go ahead and, and purchase the house after after you've had this degree of uncertainty it, it just doesn't make sense right it's like girls will kind of like always push on the edge of what commitment they can actually get so they'll think like oh well he he's <laughs> he's my boyfriend so of course he'd do this for me you know what i mean it's like if if someone guys this this applies to a lot of guys who you know if you find yourself getting used um don't don't put up with wishy-washy behavior guys if a girl flakes on you for a date, never talk to her again. <laughs> you, you don't you don't have to deal with that the, uh, someone treating you like you're a you know, you're a second class citizen. Like if a girl flakes on you, if a girl just wastes your time, you you don't have to put up with that. You, you really don't and you shouldn't. And you know, a lot of girls are like getting this situation where um they get half the commitment and then they they try and run away with it and like get a house and and it all just backfires on them. So what am I supposed to do? Two months later, he's like, okay, I'm coming. And I'm like, yes, oh my God, so exciting. My dad didn't let us hang out. If we hung out, it had to be outside and it had to be at a social distance. That was fine during the summer. I was realizing like in a few months, it's gonna be cold as shit. So how are we gonna hang out in like 20 degree weather? At this point, if we didn't go to Florida in around October and buy a house, then we wouldn't be able to see each other at all. We had pressure on us to buy a home like very quickly before the winter. A few weeks later, he's like, you know what? I have a really big opportunity here and it's not fair for you to ask me to leave. Just think about this. You're engaged to the <laughs> love of your life. They come to you and say, I want to buy us a home. We can do this together as a couple. Everything that I make and grow for myself, I want to share with you. I want to have a family with you. Do you want to do this? And they were like, hmm, I'll see you when I'm 65. And I said to him, like, do you not? And the thing is, you don't have until you're 65 to do that, right? And, and any time you spend uh, wasting 
before then is it's on you right it's it's literally on you a lot of see this is why a lot of guys will have no empathy when you go out and chase chad for however many years um and then you expect to turn around and find a good guy no no see you got to find a good guy early early right a lot of these girls are putting it off till they're like 40 50 i had a look in uh someone in my discord shared uh shout out to the discord boys i someone shared in my discord um under cringe dating profiles they shared like this whole reddit of women who will post their dating profiles and i kid you not guys there are girls who are like 40 50 you know still out there on the carousel it's actually insane but I think we're going to leave today's video there. Remember, guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe on your way out. Comment your thoughts to today's video. Um, what do you think? And if you'd like to support the channel, a great way to do that um, is the, uh, the PayPal and the Patreon. And I will see you boys in the next one. Peace. Yo, boys, it's Taylor here. I just want to say thank you if you've made it to the end of the video. And if you've been enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe on your way out. Join the Discord and check out the Patreon link in the description. See you boys in the next one.